What are the reasons you might want to use guides in Premiere Pro? Hey, it's Piotr, I'm a freelance editor and the creator of Essential Motion Presets. You might be familiar with guides from Photoshop. They are like overlay lines that you can display in your program monitor. And by the way, this video is part of the series where I talk about all of the 16 categories of presets that are included in Ultimate Presets for Premiere Pro, a pack that I created that help you organize and speed up your workflow. So when you activate Program Panel, you can go to View, and guide templates. And once you install Ultimate presets on your machine, you will get the same 12 guides presets. Potentially more in the future, because I add more as I go. And the first one is about the center of the frame. And I will enable it with the preset number 5. It's a very simple one where you have two guides, one vertical and one horizontal one, and whatever the resolution you're working on, whatever the aspect ratio, they will always cross in the middle of the frame. I will also use this center frame guide to place the person talking straight to the camera in the middle of the frame. And by the way, you can turn on and off guides with this button over here. If you can't see this button, then press this plus icon over here and add it from those over here. Basically, drag it into its place. The second and the third way I use guides in Premiere is about checking the horizon or the verticality of some objects. For example, this frame right now, right? I think it's a little bit skewed. So like I will use the guide, I will move it to left and right to find the corner of the room and then I will rotate the parameters so that it's vertical. I will often do the same on like a landscape shot just to make sure that the horizon is leveled. And for horizon specifically we have those two presets, number one and two. Yellow is better if you're dealing with like a C-shot or something like that where there is a lot of blues and greens in it. Okay, on to the next one. You're placing graphic elements or there is something important in the frame that shouldn't be cut off even if displayed on like a different aspect ratio monitor that you don't have control over so it might feel instead of like fit the screen. So then you basically use preset number six and you've got your safe margins to move objects within the frame so that they are within the safe space. Another way I use guides is for placing graphics on the screen and aligning them from one shot to another. Let me activate preset number three, which is 5%. Basically, it places the guides 5% in from each edge of the frame. And now I can either move this lower third so that it aligns with one of the guides, or I can customize the guides and move them a little bit to the right, this one a little bit to the top. And leaving this setup on, I can switch to another lower third and make sure that this one aligns as well. And in this case, it's the same graphic design, so obviously you can copy-paste position. But first of all, this one is to make sure that you're still in the right place. And secondly, sometimes you're dealing with a different graphic element that has a different size, a different resolution. It's really useful to have like common edges and common placement within the frame. And by the way, even if you customize this one, right? So so I will move it, I don't know, somewhere here, right? But you want to get back to 5% preset, you can just go back and press number 3 again and it will go back to the original state. Okay, and now my favorite way to use guides is about checking how the framing would look like in a different aspect ratio without using letterboxes. So there are four presets just for that. I have this 16 by 9 frame over here, but I want to have a look how it would look if it would be 4 by 3. So I click this preset and I get the guides that represent the letterboxes that would be placed otherwise. You can have those lines, you can see the entirety of the frame, but still have a reference to what it will look like in a different aspect ratio if you are required to deliver a different one. Let's say I want to have a look how it would look in a cinematic aspect ratio, right? So 1 to 2.35. And there we go. I can imagine what I will have to trim when delivering this, but I can still have a look at the edges and see what are the options to include. I think I might add another preset over here for vertical aspect ratio. To be honest, I don't know why I haven't done it earlier. <laughs> Okay, and last but not least, for number seven, we've got a dividing screen, dividing frame into equal parts. Three parts vertically with middle line or four parts vertically with the middle line. So now I can place Jim within the frame. I can crop. I can do the same for me. I'm placed correctly already, so I will just crop. 
and there you go now i just have to place whatever we're talking about in the middle of the frame and that's it or i could even use it for like a group conversation with six people in it or some kind of picture in picture montage let me know if you use presets in a different way that i haven't thought about this might give me ideas on how to improve essential guides that i will include later on in the pack as well and obviously there is a link in the description to the full pack check it out it's over 200 presets right now in 16 categories for any type of work you can do with presets in Premiere Pro. Till the next time, bye!